Now, here's the latest in agriculture news from the Rural Radio Network. Dry conditions across Nebraska have provided an opportunity for producers to get ahead on harvesting. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, as of Sunday, 34% of the Nebraska corn crop was harvested. That figure is ahead of the average for this time of year, which is usually at 22%. Soybeans are way ahead of the average pace. Typically, farmers would have about 40% of that crop harvested for this time of year, but right now the figure is at 82%. For an update on the progress on the ground, we spoke with two southeast Nebraska producers who were in the cab on Tuesday afternoon. First, here's Ulysses Nebraska farmer Lucas Fricky. He says their farm has wrapped up the soybean harvest and is now on to corn. Here's the summary on the soybean harvest. Yeah, it, honestly, the soybeans were doing pretty well and then all of a sudden just dried up pretty darn quickly. So overall, we can't complain where things ended up, but you know, always wish for better, but we're happy where they were at. Heading over to the Waverly area, Andrew New Year says the lack of moisture is providing a big window for harvesting. We haven't really had much for rain to keep us out. Um, yeah, everything that we've been in recently has been dry. So uh, yeah, moving right along here. Now, a powerful thunderstorm did pass through the area on Sunday night. Wind gusts reached nearly 70 miles per hour. However, New Year says it didn't cause much damage to his crops. We haven't really had anything that um, blew over any flat fields. We had some stuff that's leaning a little bit, but we're able to pick it back up with... Uh, uh, with the corn in. Winter wheat planting is also underway this time of year in Nebraska. Its pace is currently sitting about 90 percent. For more information about the crop progress, you can visit our website. It's ruralradio.com. I'm Bryce Duskett with this update of Agriculture News. You already know that choosing higher blends of clean burning ethanol at the pump can reduce risk to human health. Well, during October, choosing blends of unleaded 88 or E15 all the way to E85 can actually help fuel a cure for breast cancer. Because for every gallon you buy, your participating retailer will contribute three cents per gallon to breast cancer research at the Fred and Pamela Buffett Cancer Center. Visit fueledbynebraska.com to find a participating ethanol retailer near